Hello. Welcome to the Warframe Collective. Today we're taking a look at the Mutilus Cyrnos and we're putting it up against the Proboscis Cyrnos. And look, I know there's going to be some players that aren't necessarily happy about that, but I was arguing with this new guy in my clan and he was trying to tell me that the Proboscis is an upgrade to the Mutilus. And I was trying to explain to him that just because you need the Mutilus to build the Proboscis Cyrnos doesn't necessarily mean it's an upgrade. It's more like a side grade. And then this motherfucker was like, well, what the fuck is a side grade? So yeah, here we are, guys. So if we start by looking at the base stats of these weapons, we can see that the Proboscis Cyrnos has a 7% crit chance with a 1.9% crit multiplier and a 43% status chance. And when compared to the Mutilus Cyrnos, you can see the Mutilus Cyrnos has a 15% crit chance with a 2x times crit multiplier and a 49% status chance. And the difference between the Mutilus and the Proboscis is the Proboscis does most of its damage in Slash while the Mutilus does most of its damage in Impact. But one big difference is the Mutilus has Innate Toxic while the Proboscis Cyrnos has Innate Viral. So we're gonna start with an unmodded Proboscis Cyrnos just to see how this weapon performs at base. So as you guys can see, we have some level 160 heavy gunners, and this is just to see how the weapon performs at base. And the intrinsic trait of this weapon is when you fire a charge shot at an enemy, it spawns out tendrils that groups enemies together. And as you can see, not only is the Proboscis Cyrnos a really good bow, but it also provides some really decent crowd control, so keep that in mind. Next, we're going to go ahead and put a build on the Proboscis Cyrnos. Seeing as this is a status-based weapon, we're mostly going to focus on getting that status chance over 100%. And we're going to throw in a little bit of crit chance with critical delay and just to see how this performs. This isn't the most optimal build, but you know, it is a build nonetheless. So as you can see, with a full build on this weapon, this weapon is actually pretty nasty. You can see that crowd control combined with the tendrils and the viral explosion, and that absolutely does work. The only problem is the fact that this weapon only comes with seven shots in the magazine. And yeah, you can run arrow mutation and vigilante supplies, but you'll still find yourself running out of ammo with the ammo nerfs we got not too long ago. Now where this weapon struggles is against Xmas units because this weapon recently caught a nerf to where it's intrinsic trait, the tendrils that pulls enemies in, it doesn't actually work on Eximus units anymore. As you can see, it's pulling the normal guys in, but it won't actually pull any Eximus units in until you break through their shield. So that combined with the fact that this weapon has ammo economy problems makes it not too ideal. But keep in mind, when you are using this in conjunction with Warframe abilities, it's a lot better. We're just testing out the damage of the bow as it stands by itself. So we do have a Riven. Unfortunately, the Riven only gives us a little bit of status chance. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, that's not even the same build. Of course, it's not the same build because when you have to add a Riven to the build, it changes up the mods that are available for the build. But anyway, guys, this is how the weapon performs with a Riven mod. As you can see, against normal enemies, it's still really, really good, right? But against Xmas units, it's still going to struggle and you're still going to have ammo economy problems. Keep in mind, if you're using this in conjunction with Warframe abilities like you would on the normal star chart, you can negate a lot of that. Now, the reason why I immediately moved on to the Eximus units is because the ammo economy and the fact that those weapon doesn't have overwhelming damage, 
you have to really fire at these extremist units while you still have secondary merciless active because stacks of secondary merciless decay too fast and i know you can be like oh well why don't you use primary deadhead it's just not ideal for this type of a weapon but yeah the proboscis cyrnos is actually really good you just need to use it in conjunction with warframe abilities next we're gonna take a look at the mutilus cyrnos and as you can see, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test this thing out with no mods. And remember, this thing is intrinsically toxic. And as you can see, that initial shot doesn't do a lot of damage. It does about 55 impact damage to 220 on a critical, but most of its damage is coming in those toxic stacks. If you look above the enemy's head, as you can see, we've already applied over 50 stacks of toxin to this guy but it's not enough to break through their armor so we're gonna go ahead and put on a full build now this build is nothing special it's gonna be your pretty standard build keep in mind when we add the ribbon to this it's gonna change up the build a little bit but for now we're gonna go with a standard corrosive build and look the only thing i was trying to explain to this guy is these are both two really good bows I'm not sure that I would be willing to totally sacrifice my Mutilus Cyrnos for a Proboscis Cyrnos, but I felt like this guy didn't even give the Mutilus a chance. He just kind of leveled up so he can get the mastery and immediately used it for the Proboscis. So yeah, that kind of was frustrating a little bit. But as you can see, the Mutilus Cyrnos does work. And where the Mutilus Cyrnos has the advantage over the Proboscis is the fact that the Mutilus Cyrnos comes with 72 rounds in the magazine. And as you can see, once you get that primary deadhead active, you can one shot a lot of these guys and it's pretty nasty. So yeah, that's what the Mutilus Cyrnos does. And while we still have primary deadhead active, we're going to go ahead and start shooting at the next targets, right? Because when you're dealing with these Xmas units, it really pays to shoot at these guys while you have primary deadhead or primary merciless active. And as you can see, once you start to punch through these guys, you can really fuck them up. And... As you can see right here, this guy kind of gets stuck on the guy behind him, so I have to kind of reposition myself. But yeah, the Mutilus Cyrnos is pretty nasty, and I'm not sure that getting rid of your Mutilus Cyrnos for the Proboscis Cyrnos without giving the Mutilus Cyrnos a proper chance is the right course of action. Especially when you consider the steep build requirement for both of these weapons. When you consider the steep build requirement, most people that get rid of their Mutilus is probably not going to get another one considering the fact that they got the Proboscis Cyrnos. But we're going to go ahead and put the ribbon on. And as you can see, it did switch up the build a little bit. And this ribbon, it just gives me some multi-shot and a little bit of crit damage. It's not necessarily the most optimal ribbon, but it's the one I got, you know? So... We're gonna go ahead and test this out against some level 160 bombards and corrupted heavy gunners. And then we're gonna move on to the Xmas units and see how this weapon performs with the Riven. And keep in mind, the Riven is kind of the variable here, but when it comes down to it, if the weapon is good, then the weapon is good. And that's gonna show whether you have a Riven or not. And as you can see, the Mutilus Cyrnos is absolutely nasty. The Mutilus Cyrnos is pretty crazy good. And yeah, I don't know if I would give up my Mutilus Cyrnos for the Proboscis Cyrnos without getting another Mutilus Cyrnos in the meantime. So we're going to go ahead and put this up against the Exodus unit. And as you can see, once you have all of your buffs active, this thing damn near one shots the Extremis units as well as the Bombard. Now we aren't gonna sit here and say, oh, this bow is better than the other bow 
because like I explained, these bows are two totally different bows that do two totally different things. And when you're using them in conjunction with Warframe abilities, they're a lot more effective. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the Still Path Void for a little bit, just to see how these weapons perform. This is kind of like the expectation versus reality test, you know, where when you're actually on the star chart, sometimes the results are a lot more different than in a controlled environment. And as you can see, the proboscis Cyrnos is absolutely doing work, but the only problem is I'm still running out of fucking ammo. Even with a fully maxed out arrow mutation mod, I am still running out of ammo with this weapon and it's a real problem. But yeah guys, the Proboscis Cyrnos is still a really good bow and we're gonna go ahead and finish up here and we're gonna test out the Mutilus Cyrnos next on Still Path Void. Next up, we have the Mutilus Cyrnos doing a lot of work with its high status chance and its really decent crit chance. And remember that ribbon we have give us a pretty decent crit damage. And yeah, as you can see, this thing does absolutely do some work, you know? And I wouldn't necessarily normally use this on a still path mission, but this thing absolutely does work and it's absolutely great at spreading status. So yeah, I don't think you should just give up on the Mutilus Cyrnos as the Mutilus Cyrnos is also a really great bow. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it. If you like the content, leave a like. If you didn't like it, go ahead and leave a dislike. And thank you guys so much for watching. The best thing you guys can do at this point is just to have a beautiful day. All right, guys. Peace.